Previously on Super Mario Odyssey. I'm a Goomba murderer! Do you know how nerve-wracking this is? Having to jump up and get them when one small step means I'm going to die. I don't want to hop down there. I'm kind of scared to do so. I tried to be cool, but that didn't work. A green apple banana power moon is what this is. Just let me know, sport, sport, sport. You know as well as I do that I am not a sportsy person. Oh, I bumped against the uh, the wall. Put my hat back, yo. I am styling and profiling. Yo, I want to show your face, doggo. Doggos with a hat like that have a 110% chance of being a good boy, but it won't let me go down any further. It's a cat with hats upon hats upon hats. Hey everyone, Braxton the Pirami here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we finished things up in the Sand Kingdom, under doing the underground um, caverns and whatnot. We ended up returning to the Cascade Kingdom to kind of touch upon some areas, and also kind of take a look at some of the shop items in this particular area. But for the time being, we're gonna we kind of left off in the same area that we're starting here, so. Except for, I'm changing the costume, and this is the stuff for the Cascade Kingdom completely. So the dry bones and the caveman suit is what we're going to be using. Except for, what happens when I throw my hat? Oh, wow. Look at Mario's hair. Mario's hair looks like a really weird dr deep Dragon Ball Z character. Good lord. Alright, so now we're here in the Cascade Kingdom. Um, I, I think now the little moon thing lets you know how many moons you've collected. We didn't really talk about the yellow the, the yellow shop here, so I'm just going to kind of see what is here. No, I don't want that. So we can go ahead and buy a power moon, which I think I'll go ahead and do. But you'll notice right there, some swimwear. Oh, yeah. I'm going to save up a thousand coins just to get Mario some swimming trunks. Shopping in Fossil Falls. Again, now we have two power moons at our disposal. So a thousand coins for some boxer shorts. Why not? Because Mario nipples are exactly what you wanted to see in a Mario video game. Alright, but also these little hat things, these hat guys are so cute. That one in particular here. Just look, look how happy he looks. Oh, look at him. You can't sit there and tell me that he's not cute. Aww. I'll happily buy everything from you, sir. After I destroy all of your boxes. Now they're in the water. And <laughs> when cardboard boxes go into the water, they go poof. So we're gonna get some coins here. We're gonna venture over here because now that we have access to over here, we'll notice that this chain shop is here. Something that we really didn't have uh, over here before. So we're gonna kinda make our way over, I think it's, I think I gotta destroy this. Yeah, now that I've destroyed this, this opens up a, uh, a pipe, which I don't know was there before, but now we have access to this power moon. So that's the third power moon in what seems like two and a half minutes. Or maybe it's two in two and a half minutes, whatever. So this awful opens up this thing. Top of the big stump, yeah. But that's not the biggest thing I want to go over here and grab. There's some coins on the side here that I want to grab, and hopefully I won't fall, hopefully. There we go. We get a good thing. We good. Oh, that was also kind of close. All right, so we're going to open up this door because this is where another power moon can be. Look at this. Oh, Lord. So, in all honesty, we don't actually have to... I don't think we have to control the dinosaur for this. But, I mean, come on. Why wouldn't you? The return of Dino Mario is as it stated. We gotta destroy all of these guys here um, in order to un open up another power moon so we can grab it. Um, but, unfortunately, this means we have to do all of this as quickly as possible. Which, with the dinosaur, is not the, the most reliable thing. Unfortunately, some of his attacks are not very um, reliable, and they're kind of slow and kind of disjointed. All right, so I also got to destroy these things because I kind of need them out of the way so I can destroy these things here. Funny enough, there's a little... There we go. All of them? Boob! I think that was... I think that came in as boob. It's supposed to be boop. But we went flying, and now we have access to this... Aww, I wanted the dinosaur to dinosaur to do something cool, but nope. I'm just gonna hop out of the dinosaur. He's gonna be really exhausted. What happens if I just leave him here? Like, is he gonna try and eat? Oh, he poofed. Oh, he poofed back over there. We're gonna leave. Also, also, Cappy's eyes come through the dry bones eye sockets. 
Oh my gosh. That's so freaking cool! I don't know why that's so cool! Well, it just is! Alright, so I think that's all of this particular section that I'm curious about. I still want to know how to get up there. I don't know how to do that just yet, but like I said, I think at the beginning of this Let's Play, I haven't beaten this game. I haven't gotten 100% on this game. So a lot of this is going to be a learning experience for me as well. So yeah, oh, what is this? Who are you? Who are you? What is the secret you're seeking? I know it, I know it. Ha ha! I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue. Past the chasm lifts. It's hiding somewhere, no peeking. Go find it. Go find it. Scrap ha! Okay. We'll do. We'll do. Past the chasm lifts, though. What is that? I'm really curious to know. Are there any secrets up here that I need to be worried about? There's no telling! I don't know where any of these secrets are! Uh, oh, there's some coins over here that I totally didn't get the first time! Why did I get these? Why? Also, is this a breakable thing? This looks like a breakable thing. Why haven't I tried to break this yet? Come here. Come here. Ouch! Come here! No, come here, Chain Chomp! Come here. We're gonna break this thing open. Boop! Oh. Well, that's not what I was expecting at all. Well, that's kind of partially disappointing. Oh, well. Also, I don't want... Oh, no! No! Oh, Lord! Okay. Okay, that was terrifying. That was terrifying. I... That almost ended badly. Also, does this... Does this fly... Does this, like, just go off? Like, does this just, like, fly... Like, fall off completely? That would be yep. Okay. Well, I actually want to see what happens when I do this. <gasps> oh! Ooh! Nope! 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 <laughs> no. Mistakes were made! Mistakes were made! I thought I could cheat the system! This is what happens when you think you can cheat the system. It doesn't work the way you want it to. Alright, so we've learned our lesson. Let's not do it the incorrect way. Let's actually be a little bit more cautious with this. Eh. No! No! I failed! Oh! No, I didn't! Oh! Cascade Kingdom Timer Challenge number one. All right, I'll take that. Even though that almost, I almost fell. All right, so I will see you guys back up at the uh, the top there somewhere. <laughs> because I accidentally fell down and that wasn't fun. All right, so maybe this time we'll, we'll succeed and we won't have to worry about failing. That would be really cool too. Eh. All right, so we got three more coins. We are currently missing seven coins, which is um not the best amount, I guess. I guess I could, you know, be missing. I don't know where they're at though. Is the problem? Oh, coins! I want you. I want you because I need those swimming suits. I need the. I need the. I need the underwear. <laughs> I need Mario's nipples. That's what I'm really trying to say. No, but what is this? Like, what is this supposed to be? I'm curious. If I did, if I could, is it possible to take the freaking dinosaur all the way over here? Just a, just a question. Is it possible to take the dinosaur all the way over here and smash that big rock? It is possible. I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it works. I just gotta. I gotta just keep. I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep moving. Nope. <laughs> I like how the chain shops have the ability to attack me, but they don't have the the, the stamina. All right. So if I can make it all the way down there and break this big old thing, maybe there's a moon. That was disappointing. Like, really exceptionally disappointing. Nothing happened. Nothing. Oh, I thought the I thought the little beacon of light down there was another power moon. No, it's just the Odyssey. Alright, there's actually you might have you might have caught it, but down here is actually a door that originally was just a, like a a blocked with like a boulder. But now that we have access to, you know, the next levels and such, we can come back here and do this. 
Oh, and this one's actually kind of clever, not going to lie. Alright, so I'm just going to ignore all of you because you don't make any bit of difference. And now it's time to go into the side of the rock here for another retro-styled game. And I love, I love the, uh, whoop, whoop. I love the, uh, the, the 8-bit retro version of this particular costume. So, interestingly enough, you can go into the side here. And sure, you can, you can end up, you know, doing this particular part of the, uh, the level. Interestingly enough, you don't have to. If you're really skilled, you can call, you can jump up here. Oh. That was just, that was just for, uh, for coins? I thought that was, like, um, a secret. I lied to myself. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, it might be this one that I'm thinking of. Yeah, because on this one, this one's the one that I think if you... Yeah, you can look up and kind of give yourself a... Um... Oh, oh, okay, okay. So if I have it at an angle, I can actually see some things. So what I'm going to try and do... Is I'm going to hop up here, hop up here, hop up here! Oh, I missed. All right, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try and get this one. I want to get it. I don't know how far down this goes though. Whoop! Nope, that didn't work. I want to get up there. I've done it before. It's worthwhile. I I feel like. Okay. Whoop! Oh! It cut me off. It cut my jump off. All right, we're gonna try this again. One more time. One more time. Come on. Whoop! Oh. Oh, it won't let me do it. No! I can't do it! I can't throw my hat either! Like, this is just dumb. Okay, eventually I'll get it. Yeah! I did it! Really, the first time I saw this, I didn't think anything of it. But if we come over here, there's actually some more, some more um, coins that we can get. So now we are down three coins throughout the entirety of this level, which means we've almost 100%ed purple coin-wise. Now, if I come over here, um, I just have. Oh, there's one down there too. What? What? What happens if I just ride this down? Will it kill me? I think it kills me. Oh, then how do you get that one? Oh, 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 can I, can I like jump off of this? Will it let me do this? I should have probably get the power mood over there that I have access to first before I start dying and then failing miserably at everything in life. So let's get, let's get the power mood here first before we try doing that. Just because? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get this one. Nope, we're gonna get- come on, come on, there we go. And this one is past the chasm lifts. But this isn't the one that the, the bird told us about, is it? So we have past the chasm lifts, which we've done. Oh, it is past the chasm lifts. Okay. Also, we've almost- we've almost got most of the Cascade Kingdom knocked out of the park. Which I think is cool, too. But I'm really curious to know how you get that one down there. I'm going to assume that I can jump off of this little platform here on the left and kind of arch my way back down, which would be cool if I can. Oh, yes! Yeah! So, what? Where does that pipe lead? Where does that one go? Oh, can I like... Oh. Oh, okay, okay, so we, we broke that. We broke that. That leads somewhere. Where does this lead? Oh, <gasps> no! No! That's not cool at all! You just totally tricked me! I thought you were going- I thought you could do something, you know, with that one, but no. Ooh. Alright, so we can't die here. Hidden Chasm Passage. That was kind of neat. 
That's the thing about life with this game that I really do enjoy, though, is the fact that they give you visual cues of where the rest of them could be, and oh no, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Get back here, Koopa. Get back here, Koopa. I'm not letting you kill me. Not with your turtle shell. No, no. Alright, so, now I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. It's the stupid pipe... Braxton's not the brightest. I'm not the brightest. Give me one second, I'll be back up there. Alright, so now we can take this pipe back over to the main section of the Cascade Kingdom, which is cool. With all of this that we've done, I want to see how many we've unlocked. So we have 11 of 25, so we're not even halfway done. Wow, I feel like we've gotten so many today, too! Oh, there's so many that we're missing. Oh, my lord. I don't even know where the rest of them could be hidden. Like, I don't know. Where? Where could you have- oh my gosh, where could you have these all at? No, goodbye. Wow, none of those hit me. None of them at all hit me. Alright, so I kind of want to go up to the top here and see if there's anything new to the Cascade Kingdom. I know there's one thing, and I kind of want to do that first before... Before technically saying I'm going to end the episode off. Whoop, nope, Mr. Goomba, no, sorry. Sorry, no, um, no soup for you. Eh, eh. All right, so now we're back up at the top here, and you got your, you know, your typical, um, your, your typical chain chomps. Is there anything up here? Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. Ooh, I see something over there. Oh, it's Captain Toad! It's Captain Toad! How do you get over there, though? Captain Toad, I see you, buddy. I see you, friend. Um, can I like hop down here? Hi there! Mario, fancy meeting you here! That's right, it's me, Captain Toad! I'm traveling the world looking for moon power moons! There's so many rare fossils around here, I jump for joy, but, you know. Oh, I also found a moon power moon in my search, but you can have it. It's actually kind of funny. He mentions the fact that he could jump for joy, but he can't. Because in the Captain Toad games, you, you can't jump. So he can't jump. It's so depressing. But Captain Toad gives us another power moon. Good morning, Captain Toad. Yes, good morning indeed. At 8 o'clock at night. Which kingdom did you think I should visit next? Whatever your heart says. I Don't let me be the judge. I also don't know how to get up here. Can I, like, teleport? I want to teleport. Um, we'll teleport to this one. Warp! Warp! Lazy! Lazy! Because if I hop down, I'll have to go back up anyway, so I'm gonna be lazy! I'm gonna be lazy. So there's one more thing about the, uh, the Cascade Kingdom here that's kind of new, and it's this little back- this little battlefield here. So, oh, there's some coins up here. And you'll see those are the last three purple coins that we have that we need to gain in order to, um, complete the purple coins in this level. But if I press this... Now we got this little invis- this little thing here that's actually came- nope. Nope. Eh. Alright, so I gotta- uh, Nope! There we go. Almost- almost missed it. The Cascade Kingdom Timer Challenge 2. So there are two of those in the Cascade Kingdom. Typically whenever you see any of these little scarecrow looking guys, if you throw your hat at it, typically it means there's gonna be a timer challenge or something that causes- um, something invisible to suddenly appear and become, um, manifested into the world, so you can use that for platforming. So, last time I did this, I failed miserably because I missed the first jump, so let's not do this this time. And instead of having to hop over there, can I just throw my hat? Nope. I kinda- I can't be lazy here. Alright. Yay, we've gotten all of the purple coins! We've done our job here in the Cascade Kingdom. And back this one is going to be across the floating aisle. So, we have a total of 14 of the 25 power moons here in the Cascade Kingdom. Which means there's 9 somewhere else, or there's 11 somewhere else that I have no idea where they could be. No idea. But for the most part, that's all for this, for the Cascade Kingdom. 
the ting them, the ting, the ping, the ping, 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 the ping, 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 ping them. Because I really have no interest in 100%ing this level until later in the game. Mainly because this is all that I'm aware of. Literally. Of, of the time that I've spent playing this game, that's all of the power moons in this particular world that I am familiar with. Oh, we're gonna fall to our death. But since we got all the purple coins, I'm gonna go ahead and spend them all real quick. And I'm getting all of the purple coins here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get the Triceratops Trophy, which means we have one more trophy to add to the Odyssey. So, yay, we've bought everything in the Purple Shot, we've made them go, uh, we've made them run out of stock of everything, and they have enough money to survive another really poor fiscal, fiscal year. Aren't we such great people? I feel like next time I'll have to ask, uh, Hit Toad over there for some hints, because I don't know what else. So, instead of going, I'll go ahead and, um, power up the, uh, the Odyssey, even though I don't think this counts towards the next kingdom, because we have to collect a certain amount in the next kingdom, I'm pretty sure. We'll go ahead and go in here, actually, yes, we want to head on off to another kingdom. We're actually going to go and pay a visit to the Cab Kingdom real quick, because I have no idea what's different here. So let's do this, shall we? Let's skip. Skip all the way. And then... We're gonna skip again, and then you're gonna be like, we got some time to kill, and blah blah blah, the spin throw, yes, 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 I get it, yeah, we're here. Welcome to the Cap Kingdom, everybody. Again, we've been here before. Bonita Bonaton. Bonaton? Okay. So, last time we were here, there were no, no collectibles, but oh my lord. What? What? W what? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, and the coins here are hats. So I actually want to get you. Because you are, a, you are a frog. Who has the ability to jump really high. So I actually might consider just kind of adventuring around Cap Kingdom for the rest of this episode. Because I was not expecting this. At all. Ugh! Ooh! Those are some terrible jumps. Oh lord, I almost missed you. Oh. Oh. Really? That's it? There's nothing else? I don't want to hop- Stop hopping over the thing! No, stop it. I want to hop on top of the blocks here. No! Oh my gosh! Why is this so difficult? Why are frogs- Oh, there we go. Anything- <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. Oh. <gasps> I knew it! There had to have been one up here! Frog jumping above the fog. That one is actually a cleverly placed power moon. And now I am so high up here that I'm terrified and I don't want to get down. We're going to try it. Ooh, that is the jump. Oh, panic attack. Panic attack. Oh, man. Okay, so that was fun. I also think I don't go as fast with, the, with frog in tow. So we're going to continue making our adventures through here. I'm really curious to know what those blocks are. There's also a floating Goomba with the top hat. All right, so this one was also in the Cat Kingdom, or the Cascade Kingdom, so. What is the secret you're seeking? I know it, I know it. Ha ha! I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue. A frog jumping from the top deck. It's hiding somewhere and no peeking. Go find it, go find it, Skrka! I like saying that. I like saying that more than I'm cared, willing to admit it. All right, so I actually want to take a, take a look at the shop here first before I go, because I want to see what new clothing they have here. Yes, I know there are two types of coins. We've already discovered this. <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> I know what I'm, my mission is for the next episode. I want these. I want them. Like, dude, I want. Oh, a plush frog. Man, you know, you know exactly what I need to my, you know, you know the weight into my heart by getting me a plush frog. Oh, man. So, with that being said, I also, I'm going to get the power moon from this from right here. 
Yes, this is what I wanted. I'll go ahead and buy my way to victory. Because <laughs> why not? It's the only way I can win. Alright, shopping in Bonneton? I don't know what that is. Alright, so with that being said, I think we've done enough here to warrant me starting an episode. How am I to fix all this damage for the next episode to start? There are coins over there that I totally missed. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. In the next episode, we'll adventure a little bit of the Cap Kingdom, hopefully getting enough to get some snazzy new clothes, and then we'll make our way up to the Lake Kingdom, where we'll start with the entire water world of the game that I'm partially terrified to do. But at the same time, there's some interesting mechanics in that one as well that I'm looking forward to. But until then, keep being awesome! This is Braxton, capping out!